Okay, so we've been digging a trench here because we are putting a pillar here and we dug through this pool pipe. So in this video, we're going to quickly demonstrate how to mend this pool pipe. What you'll need are some connectors. These are for high pressure. So these are not the plumbing ones. These are for pool. You, can, you know they're for pool. They're much thicker and uh, they are for high pressure insulations. And then obviously the glue and then the pipe as well. All right. We we'll also need a hacksaw and a cloth. The cloth is to clean it, the hacksaw is to cut through the pipe. Now, you can either use a tape measure or you can put it side by side and mark it off. Um, just having a look. See, this goes in 25 or 30, but say 25. So, 25. So, the pipe needs to be... Take the spare pipe and we cut 45. 145. That's it. Right. Okay, so this is what the repair is going to look like when it's done. So the, the feature now is to uh, prepare the pipes, put the glue on, and then keep in mind that this is going to be a little bit tricky because we're going to have to go there and we're going to have to lift the pipe and there's water here. So we're going to have to do this with the pipe a little bit raised so that the water does not come out. So we start with the bottom. So you put the glue in, you put it quite liberal, quite liberally, it's quite a bit. Uh, looks like this glue is dry. Oh, When using the PVC glue, the PVC weld, uh, you, should, you should spread it liberally. You can use a paintbrush to, um, you know, like a brush, to make sure it gets everywhere. I'm just using my finger. Obviously, it does get on your skin. It's not good for your skin, but if you're worried about that, 
you can just use a brush to make sure but i do find that takes a bit of time some of the glues do come with a brush in the lid um, this one is just uh, the tube so it doesn't come with it as you can see you've got to make sure you spread it everywhere so that there's no part of the pipe that is uh yeah that hasn't that has no glue and then another tip is when you do put the join or the the um the join on the pipe don't twist and turn just push it in and leave it uh, now you can see me i'm just making sure that both sides of the uh, surfaces have the glue spread it liberally make sure that all the surface or the entire surface area is covered with the glue Make sure the surface is dry, no sediment, no dirt. You can clean it with a, a special cleaner, like methylated spirits, just to make sure there's no grease. Grease is uh, something that is a problem for the PVC glue. So you want to have a, de a, a degrease, so you can use a degreasing agent. But in this case, there's no grease. This is just pool fitting, so we don't have grease. There's a little bit of oil on human hands, but uh, as you can see that we did wipe it down thoroughly, and then we put it in, and we do not twist and turn. People make a mistake by putting it in and then twisting, and that's a problem because you interfere with the, the way the glue must seat. Right, the uh, joints have now been made and then what happens now is it needs to dry. It is touch dry in the first 15 minutes but it's definitely not dry enough to switch the uh, pool pump on because remember the pool pump is at a few bars so this needs to dry for at least 6 hours. On the container, on the glue container it does say 12 hours but in the sun you should be fine with 6 hours. Remember it does have to dry right inside uh, there and obviously it's still a bit moist in there from the water vapor so I would say at least six hours if it's in the sun otherwise 12 hours overnight all right so that's how you solve this problem thanks for watching cheers